Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Talk Books. So I'm really excited to do a book review for you guys today on a new release book that was just released today on the 23rd of June. And that book is Emmy and Oliver by Robin Penway. This is a new release Hawaii contemporary book. This is a coming of age story about two characters. They were separated at the age of seven after one day when Oliver's dad kidnapped him. So it is now 10 years later and it's now back in his hometown in California. But he is reunited with his family and his close friends, including Emmy. You meet Emmy and she's a girl who lost her best friend. Because of this, her parents and the rest of the town are very overprotected of their kids, but more so her parents. She has a curfew and she can't really do what she wants. She loves to surf and she wants to go off to school and kind of be her own self. She's afraid of what her parents will think and she doesn't want to disappoint them, but at the same time she wants to be who she is and live a life that she wants and not what her parents want. And then you got Oliver. He's someone who was taken away from his mom, but at the time he didn't think that that was the case. He he left with, with his dad and he had a pretty decent life, but he didn't know that his dad actually took him from his mom. And now it's 10 years later and he's back in his hometown but it doesn't really feel like home to him. Everything is overwhelming for him. He doesn't really know his mom. He doesn't really know his old friends. He feels like he's kind of just stuck. He doesn't really know where to go or what, what to do with himself. He's trying to find himself in the mix of all this chaos that is going on and together them to rekindle their friendship. And they learned that even though there was so much time apart, their friendship was so strong and they were able to kind of overcome that and basically go back to where it ended and just kind of start fresh and new. And that is the story of Emmy and Oliver. Now before I share with you my thoughts on this book, I want you guys to know that it's not just your everyday YA book. When I started this book, I really thought I was going to get a very summery, cute, fun YA book. And yes, it is that. This book does have moments of your typical YA and contemporary scenes, but it's so much more than that. I think There's a lot of family aspects in this book that I really enjoyed. And like I said before, it's a coming of age story. So it really focuses not just only on the love story in this book, but just about discovering who you are as a person and you're about to turn 18 and you need to know what you want to do with your life and just has all that great stuff in it that is extremely relatable for a lot of teens out there even if you're older you probably have gone through stuff like this especially with our parents it was a great aspect to this book that i loved the actual story of this book like for me i have never read a book um with this type of plot where a friend or someone gets kidnapped and they have to come back home and they have to start a whole new life. That's something that I haven't read before and I thought that was different in a YA book. I think the author really did that well and she made everything pretty realistic and not overly dramatic like a movie or some other books. This book doesn't really have very dramatic scenes or twists and turns or shocking moments. It's very real and it kind of describes very everyday type of people. These people do very everyday things. They they wake up, they take a shower, they have breakfast, they drive to school, they come home, they, they do this. Like it's very normal. And it's something that you don't see a lot in YA. Like, I, I kind of did enjoy that it was set in, in a very one tone manner. Um, it didn't need anything extra. Just the idea of having a kid taken away from his mom is big enough and we didn't need anything else to add on to it. So that's something that, again, I just really liked. Another thing that I just absolutely loved so much was the dialogue in this book. It had the best dialogue that I've read in a long time. Um, just It just reminded me of like my friends and especially at that age, like the things that we would say and the way we would joke around and 
act stupid. It was just breath of fresh air. It was just so nice and familiar. There was so much dry humor and charm and very quirkiness about a lot of the characters in this book that I just love and I was laughing honestly so much. It's rare sometimes to come across dry humor in books. Um, sometimes there's moments in certain books where it just it doesn't seem natural and it's, it just it seems forced. It was really fun and it made me just not want to stop. I just loved it so much. And these two characters together guys it was beyond adorable if i could just describe this book in one word it's charming like it's just a really charming book this book proves that it doesn't matter how much time you have apart from someone that the connection is always there and the love and the friendship that you have no matter what the age was it's just it's just always there and there was just so much innocence in this book that just i just oh. I adored it so much. It's unbelievable how much I adored it. I love the way that they grew together and as well as on their own um, as characters and as people. So even even though I have so many great things to say about this book, there was one thing that I was kind of left disappointed in and that was the character of Oliver. For me, I felt like his character was someone who needed more attention in this book. He was always that kid that got kidnapped. And that's all I really knew about him. I didn't really get to know him that much. Um, I didn't know really what he liked or what he wanted for the future. I just, you knew like small things here and there, but I feel like as a character who was missing for 10 years, I wanted to know more about the guy that he was now. He was always stressed that they always saw him as that seven-year-old boy who was kidnapped and he wants people to know who he is at, at 17 and I felt like I never got to know him 100%. I was left hanging with him and his character and I think, I don't know if I want another part, I, I don't know, I feel like there's so much room for more in this book, specifically focusing on Oliver. I think a lot of this book was focused more on Emmy and the friendships in this book. Oliver probably should have been the main focus. I would have loved to see more maybe in his point of view. Something was just like empty. And that was my only complaint about this book. But besides that, I really recommend this book. And it's honestly a book that I would reread again just because I really enjoyed it that much. It's a pretty quick read just because um, it flowed very nicely. And I just love the way that she wrote. So it's a very easy book to get in into. And I just... I really enjoyed it and if you love YA and if you love coming of age stories and character development this is something that I think you should pick up. So I rated this book four stars. Thanks again to Harper Teen for giving me this book for review. Let me know if you guys pick it up and we could chit chat about it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.